What is up, Cornucopius Universe? I am your host, Jake, and I'm here to bring you guys another Kopi Cafe recap over Kopi Cafe number 103. Stay with me. We've got a few huge sales coming up, guys, so let's go ahead and dig in. First off, we have the new F9R. It's going to be minted on base, and it is an S-Class. We also have the new Bubble Jet. Now, we didn't get to see what it looked like. We were teased a little bit about it, but it's going to be the competitor to the F9R. It's going to be the S-Class, and that is going to be minted on Cardano. We also get a little teaser about this new jetpack that they're releasing. There's some variations with it, but what it's going to allow you to do, it's going to allow you to get around a lot quicker. Now some of y'all in the community have asked about the GTI Jester and can we buy it? The answer is no, but good news, you can earn it through racing. More information on that to come. In a previous Kopi Cafe episode, we did get a sneak peek into one of their new outfits for your avatar. There will be variations of outfits that you can buy to make your avatar look dope. Josh did also tell us of this unique item that we can purchase at some point. We don't know anything other than that. Josh, you're killing me here. Tell us about it. Now, don't forget, Cornucopius is a free game. You do not have to buy anything, and you can use what is free, the free outfits, the free vehicles to race, public transportation. It is a game for all of us to come and play. There are a few things being tested this week. First off is going to be the brand new purple track that the QA team is currently going through. It is going to be a medium skill track. It's based off the Nurburgring track and it's going to feature a lot of fast straights and tight turns. Next is going to be the nodes. The team is testing the nodes, which is going to help you guys download the game files much quicker, but is also incredibly cost efficient for the team as well. This episode featured Josh and Rob giving us some awesome gameplay footage from Solace One. It featured several things such as the world travel system, the cloud gate. We got to see the land plot scanners working in tandem with the land plots. We saw the overhead map and how to set locations. We got resource locations as well as we just got in general epic landscape scenes. Let's go ahead and get into some community questions. Question one, will climbing be integrated into the game? That is something the team absolutely wants to include into the game. Now, there's a lot of things they're working on right now, so this is not a priority, but they talked a little bit about grappling hooks being something that could be part of the game, so I'm pretty hooked. Question two, will there be a vehicle you can use inside of the zones to transport resources to and from the land plots? And if so, where will it be stored? There will be vehicles such as the bubble jet that will allow you to travel from dome to dome. There are going to be different vehicles with different capacities for storage, but there will be additional ways to add storage as well. Once you land your vehicle inside a private hangar, there will be a terminal that you can send your resources through for a small fee. However, there are other ways to transport resources as well. Question three, when will the game be optimized for computers with lower specs? The team is constantly optimizing the game so they can reach more players with lower specs. One thing that they're going to use come October, DLSS is going to be used so those using NVIDIA graphics cards will see a boost in performance. We did get some more art from David's art book this week, which features things that the team has done, they're working on, and things to come. We saw things such as the F9R, the Jester, the T3, the Bubble Jet, the Avatars, the Red Track, and Inside the Pavilion. We did get some wicked concept art this week that is going to feature some of the lore from Cornucopius. As we know, the earth was scorched. We all ascended into the sky into these bubbles and these domes. However, some people were left behind, and those people are known as the Terra. This art features some of the lore dealing with them. I can't wait to hear more of their story. Now, the thing I'm most excited about was the leaked image over the jetpack from Zero G. Other manufacturers may make these in the future, and they are going to come in different shapes, and they're going to feature different traits, such as being able to fly different distances. We don't know exactly when these are going to be available, other than probably Q4 of this year. Let's go! All right, guys, that is going to wrap up this episode of Cornucopius Universe, Kopi Cafe Recap over Kopi Cafe number 103. I hope you guys enjoyed this content, and I hope to see you next week. Until then, stay corny, my friend.